Hey, once again, guys. <laughs> um. Well, I replaced the water for the third time now. So it's now that water is really cold. And, um. <laughs> the water here is completely frozen. It is completely frozen. And you can see, or. Well, maybe only I can see. The temperature on the thermometer is registering negative. 10 degrees Celsius or in other words about 18 degrees Fahrenheit now that is wicked that is really cool um, you can see I've already made progress with the um, uh, CPU fan <laughs> I cut off the green wire because that was for low speed uh, basically the black is the ground the yellow was the high speed um, live, and the green was the low speed live, or positive, negative, and positive. Um, when you are dealing with electrics, it's good to call them ground and live, because um, if you've got 240 volts and you touch the ground, nothing's going to happen. If you touch the live, you get shocked. Okay, so um. Yeah, anyway, it's fully frozen. That is totally wicked. That water's still cold. That water's only been in there for about five minutes. But, um, uh, I'm actually not sure what kind of current I'm getting because there is some resistance through this tiny wire. But, uh, maybe I can just show you if I can try and switch these over with one hand. So we're pulling about 2.8, 2.85 amps, almost um, 3, almost 2.9 amps. Um, um, the the colder the heatsink is, the the more efficient and the better cooling you'll get out of it. Simply because um, there's not much heat to pump out if you've already got a whole batch of cold on one side so um yeah that that is seriously unbelievable thank you guys for listening subscribe and rate um yeah see ya